in Silla today, that's in Cumbria, to see the Kite Festival. I'm going to show you some really cool footage from the stunts from the festival in a second, but stay tuned because later on we've got a music exclusive from Frank Divine, a live performance, and also you'll see me do some mind reading for the first time ever on these vlogs. We're back from the Kite Festival now, it's absolutely amazing as you've just seen. I'm here with someone else though, it's Frank Devine, he's going to play you an exclusive piece of music for us, just for this episode, called Filthy Mac and Flying Home. Do you want to tell us a bit more about it Frank? Yeah, it's, um, I wrote it some time ago and um, it's, um, it's really about my memories of and impressions of Birmingham during the 60s, Great. when Navigation Street had the whiskey upstairs and, you know, it was, uh, it was pretty mad during the 60s. Great. You haven't got time to play us the full thing though, have no, you? No, this is just a snippet. Just a snippet, a little free sign of excitement for you guys. Are you all tuned up there, Frank? Yeah. Great, take it away. They've not seen me do any mind reading. It's called Day of a Mind Reader, and I'm a mind reader, and I do stuff in the day, and they get to see that, but they don't get to see the mind reading. Right. Um, now, I haven't asked you uh, any anything. I haven't asked you to set anything up. You're not a stooge. You're not acting or anything like that. Right. Um, it's completely fresh, and I want you to think of something right now. Um, I want you to think of a situation. I want you to think of um, it, it could be a venue or a place or a time, and I would then want you to think of an animal. And then I want you to think of something unusual 
about that animal. The animal might have something, might be holding something. Uh, uh, can you get something like that in your mind? Just yeah. take a, a, a second or two to get something in your head. Any, any animal? Yeah, anything, yeah. Okay. It's your unusual situation in your head, okay? Fine, right, hang on, hang on. Um, okay. Yeah? You good? Great. I'm going to ask you a few questions. And hopefully that should let me have a little glimpse into your mind there. What did you have for breakfast? A smoothie. What kind of smoothie? Well, it's a mixture of um, Greek yogurt, um, tropical fruits, um, melon, um, peaches, apples, and um, strawberries. And strawberries? Do you make it yourself? Yeah. Oh, you do? That's interesting. Hmm. What was the last piece of music you listened to, other than this? Um, it was um, Opus uh, 62 by Edward Elgar. Oh, Elgar, eh? And what was the last thing you remember about last week? The last thing I remember yeah. about, about last week? About last week, yeah. I'm not sure what last is. That was just what was the the thing that you remember from last week that oh, sticks sorry. out. Something that sticks out for you. Okay, yeah. What is it? <laughs> Having an injection in my toe. Having an injection in your toe. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Right. So from that, and I think I think from a few other things, I think you're probably going to go for with uh, with a venue sometime somewhere in your past. So I'm going to say it's going to be like your first day at secondary school or something like that. Your first day at secondary school. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you've got an animal in your mind as well though, it's going to be something, uh, it's, I was going to say land animal, but I don't think it will be a land animal. Oh, it could be a mixture by, the, by that ratio. Is it a salamander? <laughs> and, but there's something unusual about this salamander, isn't there? They're, they're, they're holding something, they're holding something really unusual, it's, 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 uh, it's an ice lolly. A salamander holding an ice lolly on the first day of secondary school. Absolutely. 100%. <laughs> Yeah. Just, just let them know. I, there was nothing said. Yeah, I haven't told you to say anything. You're not an actor, you know. I know you, but you're not an actor or anything like that. So, uh, do you want me to say? Yeah, yeah. Just Wait, let them know. That I, is I, just I, mad. That is mad. <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> As it feel to have your mind read? Spooky. Spooky. It is right. spooky. Talking of spooky, we're going to be heading off soon to uh, Lanacost Priory to hear the Wordsworth singers do some choral pieces. Frank, you've heard them before, any good? Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. They, yeah, they, they sing absolutely beautifully and uh, they've been all over Europe. And, uh, but they're right here in, uh, in Cumbria, sort of based mainly in Cockermouth. Mainly in Cockermouth, yeah. 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 That is an actual place for American people, uh, Cockermouth, it's not, it's not made up. <laughs> Great stuff. Okay, Frank, thanks very much. Thank you. Been a pleasure. And we'll see you at the Priory very shortly. So I've just watched some lovely core music here at Lanacost Priory. Absolutely wonderful. It's time for this week's Weird Weekly Question. This week's Weird Weekly Question was submitted by Aslan Rubble. And the question is this, how many times do you watch these videos? So voyeurs, how do I get those clicky links on the videos? Remember, keep it real. Well, Alright. Well, Paul Brook knows just what you're thinking. And he knows just what you're feeling. He can pick up on the slightest cues. He knows what's lies and what's the truth. Paul Brook understands when you're feeling low Paul Brook understands when you're feeling high Just let him get inside your mind